Immersed Robot. Hello, so I'm back in the Elite Dangerous again, and this time I wanted to test the dynamic foveated rendering. Uh, there was an eye track eye tracking update um, last week which I was trying to use a little bit um, I didn't really get a chance to dive into it too much and there's multiple things I wanted to try I'm still not completely sure of exactly what types of things it will work with if it's a blanket uh, dynamic foveated rendering for everything if you're using the Pimax XR or not I'm not sure you do need to update the Pimax XR to the latest um, version in order to enable it and then you, there's a checkbox inside which I was struggling with I didn't actually uh, notice that there was a checkbox there so there's multiple settings you need to change in Pimax Play in the device settings and also in Pimax XR now I'm running this through Steam VR but Pimax XR is the OpenXR integration. So with that out of the way, hopefully you can see this. I thought I'd just test it here quickly first. So if this is on the maximum setting, this is the most aggressive it can be. And right now I'm looking at the continue social game extras options. So everything over to the far right should be blurry. And then I'm gonna look over to that section now on the far right of the display and that should now be clear so you can see commander kinetic 2433 and everything should be clear there now and if i look back then you've got it clear on the other side as well hopefully you can see that that well enough um in the footage i did quickly record some test footage just so i knew that it was going to be picked up okay and if i just look around here hopefully you can see roughly the area that i'm looking at but it's quite a large area that it makes clear anyway, and this is the maximum, the most aggressive you can make it. So I don't know if they can do anything more with, with that, but um, I'm sure all of these settings will need to be tweaked. So let me just go into um, my game. So I'm in this station at the moment, and I'm going to start FPS VR in a second just to uh, get some numbers on the display and see if we can increase the resolution scaling, the super sampling, the HMD image quality in-game in order to uh, test it out. And at the end of this video, if you keep watching, I'm hoping to do some side-by-side -side as well um, with dynamic foveated rendering enabled and when it also isn't enabled just to uh, see how it affects frame rate and get some numbers there too so that will be interesting i've got no idea what that will what the results of that will be or the benefits of it right now so let's take a quick look but anyway before i start fpsvr let me look over to the left and hopefully anything over to the far right of the display should be a little bit pixelated now and then if i go sharply over to the right everything to the left should be pixelated and i hope that's being picked up clear enough on the uh, display mirror that I'm recording here at the moment but um, anyway let me start FPS VR and see what we can get okay so currently got uh, 90 FPS of course it's locked on 90 FPS the frame timings are quite low around 7 milliseconds um, okay let's go into the menu change a few settings and see if we can up this a little bit okay so these are the graphic settings I've got at the moment. Now I am actually running at slightly higher resolution than I was before. I was in 50% uh, uh, resolution scale in Steam VR in all my previous videos. Now I'm at 60%, so I've increased the resolution anyway already. Um, let's change HMD image quality up to 1.25. So I did put that back down to 1.0. Um, let's apply that just see what ah okay so that's increased frame timings a lot and also we are barely running in 90 right now so this is the most aggressive we can really be with it but let me uh take off and then i'll land back in here and try to get that side by side at the end but i mean it definitely looks very clear where i'm looking I don't know how pixelated it looks or how far out the pixelation goes because when I tested it, it seemed to go quite far out. Now, okay, let's let's take off anyway and uh, we'll see what we get. So it started to drop frames now. Maybe I should go back to that original 1.0. But frame timings are around 8 milliseconds and then it did go up to around... 10 and maybe just over to drop us into that reprojection. 
And let's go out into space. It does look very clear. I mean, I've got to say, no issues in terms of anything looking pixelated. I can't really fool it or anything like that. It does definitely work. And we've got great frame rates now. Oh, this looks fantastic. <laughs> Now, it's been a, a few days since I last went into Elite Dangerous, so I'm not 100% sure. You know, this is 60% resolution scaling, 1.25. It wasn't this high last time I played it, and this looks incredible. I tell you, this, this is incredible. This level of clarity in this game, I've never seen it this good before. This is, of course, the legacy version still that I'm playing of Elite Dangerous. We've got great frame timings in space. Oh, this is, this is so smooth. The lighting there looks fantastic. Um, so, the, yeah, the, the dynamic foveated rendering definitely works. It'll be interesting to see what kind of difference it makes on frame timings when I disable this in a minute. But I just want to enjoy this for a second, fly around here. This is sort of the new benchmark for clarity for me in VR right now. And it's a real shock going back to Quest 2 or something like that. I know, like, even when I'm connected to PC, the colours, the black levels, this level of clarity. <laughs> I am shocked at how good this looks right now. This is all I want to play in this headset, I've got to say. I've been forcing myself to play some different stuff. But um, I just want to get back into this properly and I'm limited on time. So I'm trying to cover a lot of different things with this headset, make videos on it. But if you're into Elite Dangerous, this is the headset right now. At least of the ones I've tried. I've not tried the big screen beyond would be an interesting comparison, but I've never seen anything like Elite Dangerous, I've never seen it look this clear. And hopefully you're getting a clear impression of how the dynamic foveated rendering is working with this. I wonder if you can see it on the stars. If I look if I look at that planet, do the stars get blurry on the edge? Look at that nebula there. It's difficult, it's really difficult to capture because I don't know if it's capturing anything while I'm in here because it just looks clear everywhere I look. Right, let me land at that station again and we'll, uh, I'll turn off dynamic foveated rendering and see what frame timings we get. I wonder if there will be a difference, maybe not. I honestly don't know, let, we'll have a quick look anyway um, because I don't know the effect of how much this can help with frame timings or frame rate and things like that. I'm just uncertain of that. So let me land and we'll find out. Okay, back in the menu system now with uh, eye tracking and dynamic foveated rendering turned off. There's no foveated rendering uh, active now. And if I look at the continue social game extras options helping info exit, I don't know if the right hand side is blurry or not it doesn't look like it i don't know let me have a look okay and looking at commander kinetic 2433 now and then back to continue social etc so i don't know if that's come up clearly on the video as i've said but hopefully you can see some difference there but let's get into the side by side now i'll go back into the hangar and we'll see how frame timings are so settings are identical in here and we're running at 45 fps frame timings are higher 12.5 milliseconds 12.4 milliseconds already there seems to be a difference let's launch and see what we get outside um i mean it looks just as sharp of course but we are in reprojection so that's no good at all i hope it will drop down actually i don't know yeah so it's dropping down to 90 but the frame timings are much higher so we've got about two milliseconds we're getting an advantage of around two milliseconds so actually now we're in space 
We can fly around. Actually, it's not that much difference. I don't know if there is a slight difference on frame timings and things like that. But, um, of course, it looks the same to me anyway. There doesn't seem to be a lot of difference at all. I do believe the frame timings are a little bit higher now. Um, so that would imply that the dynamic foveated rendering was doing something at least. Yeah, I mean, this just looks identical to me, exactly as it was before, but the uh, frame timings seem a little bit higher. And hopefully, like, if I look over to the right now to the mass locked area, I'm not sure if you can see any pixelation on the left of the display. You shouldn't be able to now. Um... Yeah, now we're in reprojection again. Nowhere near as solid. I don't think we got, went into reprojection once before. Scan detected. There are some ships. That's a little bit different, but I don't think that would affect too much. I think we are getting a benefit. It's difficult to know exactly how much that is. Um, but in the side-by-side -side comparison that I'm probably showing now, you'll be able to see it a little bit more clearly. Looks stunning though, still. But if it looks as good as it did before, I mean, whether DFR is on or not, if it looks equal, but we are getting a benefit on frame times, then it's doing its job. And if I can't see any difference, So I guess we can probably leave it at that for this video. I'm going to look into this a lot more, dropping into reprojection a little bit again there anyway. But yeah, I'll probably just uh, leave it there on this one because this is the first time I've really gone into the DFR stuff and I want to get a little bit deeper into it, understand how it works a little bit more. But um, seems like there might be a slight benefit anyway in frame timings and stuff so anyway but yeah thank you very much for watching this one sorry if it's been a bit of a mishmash i've been trying to work my way through and um i've literally just got it working in, in elite dangerous so i thought i'd make a quick video on it but there's still plenty to work out with this um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time